Hey! What's up, everybody? What's up? We are here for another week of... Design with us. Design with us. And without further ado, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank we know you. that we know that there's a lot of other things out there that can be pulling your attention, like Netflix and Hulu and, yeah. and all these things. And and you've decided to come hang out with us today. So thank you so much. Feels very good. Yeah, it feels really good. And I just want to give a um kind of a warm, warm, uh universal hug, hug to me. everybody out there that is kind of struggling or having really challenging times with COVID and then the rest of the things that are happening around in our in our country right now. So uh, our heart goes out to you and just remember to st stay safe, spend time with the family. Yes. Yes. And uh, and uh, just try to try to stay positive. So oh, yeah. and that's what we're going to do today. Oh, and yeah. uh, what you're looking at right now is our artboard inside of Figma. So so last week, what we where we left off, I'm going to show you what we left off. Actually, rewind. Let's talk about what is actually gonna we're gonna do today in the show because again, this is a live show. We have our notes as far as what we're doing. We have our broadcast. Jude's man manning up the the comments, doing it. and we're just this is gonna be fun today. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna talk about the player experience. We're gonna talk about what happened this week, all the things that we did, and who we talked to, and all the research that we were doing this week. And we're also going to. Uh, talk about what we're doing now, what we're doing next, because again, we're doing this over 12 weeks. Every week we're making progress on this game and there's a lot to do, but we are definitely making progress and that's what feels really rewarding. Yes. What do you think, Jude? I agree. Oh yeah. So rewarding. It, I love it. it does feel good. All right. So we're going to show you some of the sketches and things that we did this week and then and then do that. And then at the end of the show, we always have a reflection. So if this is your first time tuning in with us towards the end of the show, we do a reflection, what we think we could have done better yes. and what we think we're really well. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a retrospective, something we do a lot in product design yes. and blah, 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 blah. And then we're going to talk blah, about blah. next steps. Nice. Yeah. And uh, actually, before we do that, if you haven't yet checked out any of our content before, you should definitely check out the first few episodes, but one thing I wanted to let you know, and before we kind of jump and get started, we're about two minutes in, is if you haven't yet checked out, Jude has a new uh, series that we're doing on, on uh, Super Mario 3D World, and that, those videos come out on Saturday, so if you didn't check it out, you can go to Jude Gamer TV and definitely subscribe, like his yes. videos. You're doing an awesome job on all your content, by the way. Just want to give a total plug uh, to Jude. And then the other thing is last week we had a huge one of our really good friends uh gifted something in the game. We wanted to give him a big shout out for all that. And you remember yes, that? Yes, it was uh shout out to my my really good buddy Kieran. Mm -hmm. He is like he I don't I can't even say he's like the Mr. Beast of the the gaming world. He's like uh, so generous. Like it's insane. It's insane. So we definitely want to yeah. show our gratitude and to our friends and our friends also that are supporting uh, channels like this. And if you're viewing right now, thank you so much for tuning in. So, but boom, boom. Uh, what I was gonna do next was wanted to um, talk about. So that's Jude Show. We also have this show. And then if you are a UX designer or a product designer, or somebody that's looking for user experience coaching and next level UX coaching, that is something that I also offer. Uh, so if you want more information on that, just feel free to comment or reach out to us on, reach out to me on LinkedIn and I'll definitely help you out. It, but all that side of stuff, there is one last thing that I will say, and then I'll completely move on is um, if you need more training, also there's Practical UX Weekly, which there's two seasons, 73 three episodes if you want to tune in and uh learn from me and the content that i'm creating do you need some paper jude i got some right here buddy so we are all ready to go here you go yank. and here's a pen if you need one yank yank yank, yank. all right so yank. let's just jump right into this so what we're going to do first is we're going to be start looking at this you have enough room yeah cool all right because we're kind of nice and tight on this uh, nice 80 inch desk. All right, so we are at 4-4. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to set the time timer for a good 10 minutes. And what we're gonna do in this 10 minutes is we're gonna talk about the existing work that we've done 
and just kind of get you up to speed if this is your first time. And then we're going to jump into the world building and the thinking around the game system. Okay. So I'm going to leave that right there. We're going to come back to um, Junai. And yeet. All right. So what we're going to do first is when we first started off in our game and analysis, we had done some really like tons of research around the different games and what they were doing. And this is just another really good way to start looking outside of your current box and finding different games and inspiration and all the things that you are excited about. You can do this across any type of product design or experience that you're trying to create. You don't just have to do it in video games. Yep. 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 That's yep. All right. And so this past week, June and I, we basically had about a 20 to 30 minute session where I was in this room, in this studio. He was in his studio in his bedroom. And we basically had Discord open and we were able to, we had our headphones and everything on. And what we were doing was we were going into two to three games that were really interesting to us. And the two to three games that we wanted to kind of learn what was working and what wasn't working. So I'm going to show you really quick what we looked at. And there is a couple games inside of Roblox to, to be specific about skateboarding and rollerblading. But there were some things that we liked and some things that we want to definitely uh, take, for, take and make a lot better. Yeah. So, so the first game that we were looking at was this uh, skate skateboarding game. And this game was a lot of fun. I love this game. It's so much fun. It was a lot of fun, but it also didn't have many challenges and it had it definitely had codes and things that we wanted to bring in the tricks and things were easy easy to use i think jude ended up it took him like 20 no he probably knew how to play immediately it took me probably like another 30 seconds to a minute to find my groove and and but it was a lot of fun oh yeah i, I love this game there's things that we started taking screenshots around the codes and this was just a part of our research you know because there's certain keyboard shortcuts and sidekicks and which was also a really nice thing and then when we got into the store area and I just took a ton of screenshots let me just show these to you so each of these different products has a different set of uh, criteria that you can be able to buy specific colors and you know each color costs a certain amount of money okay and then they have a little toggle where you can kind of go through that and buy that so that was some good research for that do you have anything to add about the skateboard game June no was like simple it was fun but it could definitely use like a storyline yeah it's still like a really fun game but i think they did amazing because like building like uh skating games like this is like hecka hard it takes a ton of coding a ton of like it's really hard because like the last good skateboarding game was like uh 2010 so it was 10 years ago the last which skateboard game. really yeah Oh, wow. And you just heard that from re, re, like uh, yeah. from playing, watching. Okay, cool. All right, so we took a note. I took a note of exactly what you're saying about that so we can reference that at a later time. Yeah, Taking a note in Figma is so easy. If you haven't so used Figma, big shout out to Figma for creating such an amazing product. F-I-G-M-A is how you spell Figma and definitely go and download it. Check it out because if you're collaborating, making or creating or designing anything, it's a really great tool to use in this remote environment. So if you have multiple people in different places. All right, we have six let's minutes. Eat it out of the way. Dude, I, here, let's Sharpie that so people can see it. It's like, ah, that's like, yeet, yeet out of the way. And if, if you want to Sharpie that, or you can do that later. The other game that we went into play was this roller Roblox skating ring. And this game was fun for about two minutes. And then you start getting a little dizzy and bored uh, because you're just literally going around in circles. And with our adventure roller ring game, roller world game, sorry, we want you to be able to go into different places, almost like an amusement park where you, when you go into a different area inside of amusement park you feel like you're there you feel that feel you can totally feel it when you're in like harry pot harry potter kingdom yeah. or if you're in like lord of the rings or if you're in i mean you know there's a lot of different uh themes that we could do but i, I think it's important that there's a there's a difference there's contrast in this game so, but I got to say the skating was so much fun and they have a lot of different music and things that you could do would you agree with that 
I didn't like the music. <laughs> you didn't like the music, but you did you like that there was music? Yeah, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that's what I agree. The music was a little, little uh that's Yeah, that's Get better. Get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the 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 sound the sound of it was pretty like yeah, I didn't like the the music in the game either. Yeah. So I I agree with you, but they have the shops and the arcade and different fun things. But again, like the neon lights and stuff it makes it feel kind of like that skate skate uh skating ring experience if you've ever gone to a skating ring but sometimes like actually i remember when we went to the skating ring once it really rang my ears after we went there because it was so pounding loud and when we rollerblade like we like going around the neighborhood and having a good time and we don't necessarily like want super crazy loud noise would you agree with that yes yes of course okay cool all right do you want to transition back over into the uh into um the show Let's you... read this section out of the way. <laughs> all right, all right. Here we go, here we go. So they had some other uh, controls, but their controls were kind of like from a UI perspective, a little a little outdated from a design. Oh, hate it. Or you could say, um, instead of hate it, could you say it needs improvement? Um, okay. Or it needs, uh, it needs, It's a, there's an opportunity there. That might be a little bit more positive than the no. hate. Let's... Yeah, let's let's uh let's transition. All right. So then, but one cool thing is there's like a little selfie stick, which I thought was kind of fun. But the problem with this experience, with how it was implemented, was it was shaky and wobbly when you yeah. did have that, and that kind of can cause nausea for people. And yeah. in the future, as these games come into the VR world, like you don't want to you don't want to be designing experiences that are going to create those sort of emotions and sickness and seasickness and that sort of thing. Long story short, I did go on a boat once, salmon fishing, and then that changed my equilibrium ever since. Aww. And now every time I go on a boat or if I'm in a car for a long time, I kind of start feeling that little motion sickness because of that day when I went fishing. So Dang. yeah, no messing around. So again, they have some choosing the gameplay difficulties, but again, we're going for a little bit more uh, cleaner UI and we'll, we'll kind of show you what we're thinking about in a second. But um, so you have these other rooms, these other rooms, leaderboards, and different places where you can get the skates and rollerblades even. And that's just that game. So we did that and we are starting to realize like, wow, okay, we're looking at this game. We're starting to feel what we want, what we don't want. So then we started going back into our, you know, our logic. So what is our logic? We have rollerblades, we have outfits, accessories, pets, and gear, but we really need to know how you get through and use all those things for in a fun way. So remember, if you remember back in episode two, we were talking about the backstories and how we wanted to bring in stories and we talked about coins. And today we were even thinking about not just coins, but with, um, uh, roller rings oh yeah or, roller rings that that's like okay say in chat if you like that name yeah if you like roller rings uh we're gonna test that on you today to see if that um is kind of a nice has a nice ring to it do you like that <laughs> has a nice little ring <laughs> to it <laughs> all right we have two more minutes in that and then we'll kind of move on to the new things so we're gonna show that to you what do you got there the joke could have been better Ooh, yeah <laughs> all right cool so oops there we go all right, so we have we have that. We're gonna um, and then we also I got over to this one point where I wanted to start breaking down the task where, you know, we needed to design some uh, six core rollerblades. We needed to do some uh, research on the and we actually did do that, which is awesome. But we were also wanting to investigate designers, engineers, world builders, and see actually how much time some of this stuff would cost. Because what we realized inside of Roblox Studio was. Yeah. It takes hard to code. it takes some it takes some time and it's hard to code, and we did attempt doing the coding, but we want to scale this a lot faster. So what we did is we reached out to some engineers. We used Upwork and we used Fiverr to actually read reach oh, out. Fiverr. Yeah, Fiverr to that. reach out to some designers and and the 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 teams that reached back out were so helpful and so amazing. So what we learned that we were, we were on track with our game design document. So all of these topics that we have, those are exactly what these engineers and these designers were looking for. But the problem was uh, we needed to go way more in detail. We needed to step it up when it came to each of these sections, but no problem. 
we're on week five. We still have seven more weeks to go. We're totally going to get there. I, I feel like actually really good about where, where we're at right now. I mean, yeah, cool. So, so we have our world, we have our outline, we have our themes. Now we've been moving quite fast and I like, I like moving fast. Um, so we have that, we have that. So then, uh, one thing that I, <laughs> we did find an amazing, amazing, oh, my dinger, the time timer, timer the time timer went off. So what we're going to do is we're going to give us, let's give us, uh, two more minutes to talk about this and wrap it up. And then we will, uh, transition back to the newest things that we're doing, which is the point system. All right, cool. So this, uh, actually over here when we were talking about, uh, let's see here, build, uh, in roll, like skating, rolling. I don't even know what I said there. Bring in rolling. We need to bring in the interface. So we started doing these things and oh yeah, I need to build out the team. So I, I was just telling you, found an amazing world builder. He is based in Florida and he essentially really passionate about building the world's uh, and amusement park. So we're gonna work something out and try to figure that out with him, which we're pretty pumped about. And we're gonna build some worlds. So today we're gonna talk about those worlds that we want to get built and we're gonna talk about the point system. Are you ready for this, June? I am ready. Let's do this. So before we were talking about like, just like spatial awareness, thinking about how the pages would move, how things would kind of interact. We were talking about like the welcome screen, the choosing your clan potentially, like fire, water, air, and earth. We still need to validate and kind of flesh this out a little bit more, but we're not quite there yet. Yeah. We talked about, oh, go ahead. We should definitely change. I mean, we were like, I was thinking about, we could add like the Naruto aspect where it's like village, like leaf village, you can make leaves. So like, I mean, we could keep like some of them, but like, I think we are definitely get that leaf one. For, for the Naruto. Yeah, yeah, if you like Naruto as much comment, as we like it, comment comment down comment. below and tell us what your favorite, uh, something you like about it, and then we'll definitely comment back. Yes, okay. we will. I All right. <laughs> so cool. You can see yourself kind of like your avatar here as you're building in your fire clan. You can pick your outfits, and then you can even like pick your pet, pick your pet, and kind of work through that. What you showing on that screen? Could be better and yeah we'll definitely make this better there's also the different uh picking your accessories and the things that we could do there wow picking your strengths and your power-ups and as far as what you want and picking your outfits and we we're just thinking this might be a fun way to onboard into the game and then when you get dropped into the game we we're thinking like there might be like a home screen and this is uh inspired by uh, a game that uh i play and I played as, as uh, Brawl Stars. And essentially what I did was I just took a screenshot of Brawl Stars and I started going, it's okay that the time timer went off because we are getting into the new stuff. So I'm gonna put that to the side. And it's 418 and we'll do this for 20 minutes and then we'll end the last 20 minutes with new stuff. And there we go, I'm gonna put that to the side, buddy. Eat it. All right. So what we did here was we just were making like wheel graphics and other things. This is all vector based and, and we'll go in and polish these things up, but we're talking about, okay, how do you access your blades? How do you access the outfits, your gear, your pets? And then, the, you know, what does it look like for the roller pass? And I'm going to show you that in a, well, in a quick second. We also, yeah. go ahead, buddy. Roller pa pass is basically, if you know, Fortnite, it's basically the Fortnite battle pass. But better. Because <laughs> it's open. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Like, yeah, I get it. I'm still getting excited about it. So um, in this world, G, what do you think this this scene is that right here that we're looking at? Well, it looks like a man rollerblading. Well, no, it looks like a banana rollerblading. <laughs> and he's like doing a face paint. And then there's like a monitor and display okay updates challenges games level okay fun nice okay i see a banana face palm 
All right. So this is uh, just an example of in this in the scene, you're inside of uh, either either this could be outside. I'm thinking the world that we build is more of an outside world, mostly like skating is mostly happening outside. Yeah. And what this is, is an outside uh, really cool high tech wall that could also have like grass and things growing up. It's similar to what we uh, we got. We watched this this garden show on Netflix. Uh -huh. And they they plant things all over the all over the place. I don't know remember what it's uh, called. It's like a, the big flower fight. Like the big flower fight. Thing. And check that out if you haven't. It's amazing. It's so much fun. But bringing in vegetation and plants along here could be really fun. Mm -hmm. So like if this was grass um, and jasmine, if you've ever seen jasmine. it, it's jasmine, jasmine plants. And essentially what we would do is have different cool screens and things happening here that are associated to the person when they're playing. And then we could interchange these out throughout the week for the new challenges and the new things that are happening. So people yeah. come here and they get to see that in the game. Yeah. It's kind of a fun way to see it. Epic. This was another like quick sketch as far as like, um, oh, it looks like it's backwards here. Let me. There we go. So here we have um, kind of like an escape or back button. We have our main avatar that's gonna be in the middle. And then uh, based on what you're selecting, there's different uh, ranges and types of strength. So like if we have speed, traction, and your like strength, speed, traction, strength. Not traction. Like how good you can skate. Like you could be like really like wobbly or, or is it everybody gets the same? Everyone gets the same at the start. Okay. All right. Okay, let me... Yeah, so this is speed. Speed. Uh, traction. You don't like traction, right? Traction. Can I just write it and then we won't use? Okay, speed, traction, strength, and what else? Um, um like skill level. So if we have these marked, so you go into skates, pets, gear, and outfits, and then when you click one of these it changes the store items down at the bottom so you can actually see what they are and see what you have or you can see um what you could buy and that's kind of like what this is right here if you were clicking into these and then the ui changing on the right when yeah. you click into it okay cool. so oh let me turn off my notifications <laughs> or you got youtubers coming out all the time Jeez. so then we have those artifacts that's great, great. the next thing the next thing that Jude was actually doing was he was going in and doing some research around the other games. And then he would go through and he would draw out uh, just by drawing over the pictures of what he saw and kind of like the atmosphere that he was trying to create. And we don't necessarily, we don't want to copy exactly what uh, was built, but we want to imagine a different world. So we did add in bigger mountains. We did add in the shapes of buildings, you know, a big giant water uh, fountain that's like the wishing fountain. And I don't know, what was this exercise like for you, Jude, when you went through it? It was fun, a little tricky, but fun. Yeah. Lots of fun. And do you see how this can help potentially like a designer or uh, or a engineer kind of start oh, to build yeah. the world? Definitely. To give them a starting point, to give them inspiration as far as where we could go with this. Definitely. And then this is just another example of what we were just looking at before. Here's another world that Jude drew where... Uh, you have the grass down at the bottom. You have little waterfalls and water over here. You have trees. Cannon. cannon. This is a big giant cannon. And you just have different layers built into the world. Because when you're kind of skating, you could be skating in between these like little uh, these little hills. And then you could be jumping off of them mm -hmm. and going under the, you know, through the water and different areas when you're blading. Only so certain types of rollerblades can go on top. Like... Only like the starter rollerblades can only go on pavement. The next rollerblades can go on grass. The next can go on snow, and it just keeps going. On. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if you are if you are rollerblading with the lower level skates, then they don't they don't necessarily um, they they're slower. Like if you're trying to do it on grass, those rollerblades are slower because they're lower they're level. Good. They're lower level. You yeah. Go like a, a yeah. And it looks like um, we had another uh, uh, Max GTM 2020 just join. So thanks for joining, Max, and thanks for joining, Eunice. We're excited to see you back for another week. 
All right, so then we have this other world, which is another fun world, but this is a more of uh, bringing in the amusement park thinking, okay? Mm -hmm. So we have these different trails. So if I was to use my, let me just go to the pencil and, oops, pencil. So pencil. this area right here that I'm squiggly lining, and squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Squiggle. This is like the trail that you could skate on. And then over in the middle is this track where you can go in the track and practice rollerblading and racing and skating. Yeah. And we are thinking about these, you know, these being different worlds and climates where you can go and try. And this would probably be more of like the, the United States type of one and the other yeah. ones are going to be more like um more fantasy or thinking more of like something you would see in like anime or um like some a scene you would see in naruto potentially and then yeah and then these are roofs over here atop so this is kind of like an aerial view all right cool so i believe those are the drawings that we did so i just want to give jude a big shout out for stretching ah! those out and we used procreate if you were wondering what procreate is or so we have Procreate, and then we also have, um, yeah, we use Procreate, and then and then we use Roblox for that. So just from a documentation perspective, I want to keep my file pretty organized. So I'm just going to take a second here and draw out. I'm going to copy this frame. I'm going to delete what's inside. Oops, I'm not going to delete all of that. I'm going to delete what's inside of this frame, and I'm going to copy that, and I'm pasting it into the frame. So I'm gonna tell you how I do this. And it's a really awesome trick inside of, here, I'm gonna, <laughs> here, let me, let me make it not creepy. I, I do want, um, so I do need to be able to move, there we go. So, okay, which color would you like me to choose? Uh, light blue. Yeah, it's like blue. Oh, this kind of, this kind of chill is making me go to sleep. Is that chill gonna make you go to sleep? All right, cool. So we're gonna copy that a couple times. And then the secret here is I already just added that. So I'm going to delete it. This one, I'm going to hold um, command C Master. and then I'm going to come over to this frame and I'm going to do option command V. What? But you know what? Honestly, let me just see if I, okay. Yeah. So the trick is I was, a, I was one key off. So you hold option command C to copy whatever you have. And that's going to, when you paste it, command option V, you paste exactly what you had here into your artboard. And now you don't have, to, it's just a part of that artboard and you can have it the exact size that you want. So if you had like really small elements and you want it to be even smaller, any smaller, any smaller. My brain cells are being destroyed. You can make it even smaller. So that's like a really fun thing. So this is a copy and paste a super trick that I do when I'm uh, working in a lot of things. So for example, we have a, we have another laptop or another display on the right side of our show. I'm going to take a quick little screenshot of what I see. And then I'm going to come over and then I'm just going to paste it in paste. and you can see it copies directly into what, this is all the like live streaming uh, stuff that we're seeing right now. It copies it right in. So it's a really powerful tool for you. So I'm just gonna speed right up here. What'd you think of that, buddy? My brain cells, I, my, my two brain cells did not. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm, I'm sorry about the brain. I'm sorry about the brain cells. So if you have any questions so far about anything, we'd love to hear from you. So feel free to also uh, comment down below if you have any questions. Jude, what's your uh, message thing say? Oh, yeah, we got, we got a comment. Thank you for commenting. We will read it in about five seconds. Let me say, so which program did you use for those illustrations? Oh, so we used Procreate and we just drew it. So we took we took some photos as reference photos, and then we basically just followed them and and just drew right over them. We started with a black background, and then we uh, had the images. We lowered the opacity. And we just like quickly like five minutes, just doing 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 doing, just to get the shapes that we are really wanting to focus on. 
And, you know, the, the, their idea here is just not to be perfect, but it's really just to kind of get the concept going. You could add your own things. You could add shapes and si it's different fun. things. It's a lot of, it's heck of satisfying too. I think that's what you said earlier, right? Yeah. You're like, dad, this is, this is, this is satisfying. Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. yeah this is definitely. satisfying. <laughs> that's cool, man. All right, cool. So we got our images. Uh, great, 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 great. And that blue will probably end up changing. But you know what? We Now we know what these were as far as our research goes. And then again, uh, we also had these other scenes. So let me just, we actually use this one. Now we have this one. Banana. Banana. We should add like, a, that should be one of the characters, banana. Yeah. Banana That'd boy? One of the outfits. Banana boy? Yeah, where you turn into a banana. I like it. I like it. I like it. Banana. So now we're going to... Sorry, Jude. Banana. Banana, banana, banana. <laughs> Me to the next thing. Me to the next thing. This is your loading. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at this. So we're now we're full screen, Jude. So what we have here is our giant map of uh, the world, which is basically the hub. And then we have our... Uh, our basically our uh, quest and our reward page. And then we have some examples of what those are. So we're gonna walk you through this and then we're gonna design it with the time that we have. We're gonna try to design it in 10 minutes. How about that? 10, Ten minutes. minutes? Yes. We're gonna design the rewards. We're gonna design the quest. And then we're also going to uh, kind of, then we'll move on to our ending of this, okay? That's How's that insane. sound? Is it? I mean, I don't know if we could do 200. Oh, we're not going to write all 200. We're going to design the frame, the experience that they would live in, okay? Okay. That sounds easy enough. All right. So let's go back to our screen here. And again, we had this. We're going to be designing this, okay, just so you know. This magical thing right there. And let's just do this. All right. Let's just do it. So to start, I'm going to start with this frame that I already had. Because why start from scratch? Why, right? man? Just, just All right, why? so you know, I actually need to take a second to yeah, for a little drink of water. You got a beverage? Yeah. Oh, that's um, good. So uh, yeah, we so we're using Procreate. We're using our cameras. We're using all sorts of things. And I'm drinking a lemon ginger tea. What kind of you're drinking lemonade, aren't you? Lemonade because it's so yummy. Hmm. Cool, and I hope you all had a really awesome week. If uh, if this is, if you're, uh, you know, it's Sunday, you know, you're, Sunday. thanks for spending some time with us. Oh, yeah. It's kind of cool. All right, so what do we got going on here? So we, have Roller World. So we have Roller World and we need to start building out this, uh, this system. So I'm just gonna move this out of the board and then I do need a smaller ruler world. I'm gonna make this like 20 pixels. Ooh, that's really tight. I'm gonna make this zero. And then, so Jude, over here on the right side, this is all of the the properties. The property panel. And you know like, you know the one in studio, a uh, Roblox studio, it is a lot more complicated. Yep. It has like a hundred things over on the right. This is broken up into three separate categories. So at the very top, you have design, prototype, and code. So if you're in prototype mode, you can literally preview this screen and you're gonna end up seeing that in a prototype. So when we start hooking this up in our prototype, we will add hotspots to this. So a hotspot is like, if I wanted to click blades, what am I gonna see over here? We'll be able to make this feel like a real game, okay? And that, my friend, is prototype. And then there's code, which is actually oh, the using code. the code that we can send to our engineers to make sure that they're using big brain the CSS that we want them to use. Big brain right. equals amazing games. All right. So, all right. So what we're gonna do is is we are going to let's start just building this out. And oh. and Jude, if you want to basically actually i'm gonna use uh, i'm gonna plugins and i'm gonna grab i'm gonna grab a back button so i'm using a plugin material design plugin and i need like a back arrow 
and this is going to be perfect right here so this little back air i pull it in and i know i'm going to probably need to change it to white because you're not going to be able to see it if it's that and i want to probably double the size to about 48. Ooh, i want it to be locked so this lock button that you see right here makes these things size proportionally it constrains the proportion so if you are at 24 by 24 pixels and you know the screen right here is made up of like say 1440 pixels by 800 pixels what i'm doing is i'm going to make sure that this size is a lot bigger so when people touch with their keyboard or with their uh mount or their mouse or with their finger on the what is this thing called it's the ipad pro iPad. yeah you'll be able to have a nice big target and that's really important for accessibility all right all right, Jude. So we're gonna make this uh, forty-eight. No, forty-eight. Whoa! I just billion. What's this little thing that got in there? Oh, okay, arrow left. Arrow left. Oh, I'm in a frame. Hold on, let me. That's so. I'm gonna cool. ungroup that. Dude, get rid of arrow left. Get rid of it. There was like a couple things in there. We didn't need all that. Delete arrow. We don't need left. to do all that. We can <laughs> come back here and worry about that later. All right, so we have our cool little back button. We're going to make this white. That's my lock. <laughs> yeah. So we have our back button. We'll we'll tidy all this up later, but we're just building a little wireframe. Yeah. And then as far as this, this is like season one. We might have oh, seasons. Season? Oh, yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking about, and we kind of need a like a little bit lighter, and that shadow is really intense, so we might just Real. no, it's it's almost amazingly intense. <laughs> no, that kind of looks crazy because the season part. Yeah, All right, tell me what you're thinking, buddy. Um, do it one billion. Does it need to be? Uh, so if you want to make the font a little bit more visible, G, you can go over and make it semi bolt so it goes from light all the way to heavy. Let's so go. Let me see what heavy. Sure. Oh, that's 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 clean. Yeah, but the thing is, early early stages, we're gonna line it right, and we're gonna line this right. You don't need to spend too much time, like worrying about the visuals right now. Like we have a little bit of a wireframe, we have a sketch. What we'll be able to do later is kind of go in here and really polish this stuff up. So I in this in the drawing, and you know what? I think it would actually be really cool, Jude, yeah. if we had a picture of this. So I'm going to take a quick little photo with my hefty def camera, and I'm going to come over here and take a photo, and I'm going to upload this yeah. using our AirDrop. And I'm gonna put it to the iMac. Come We're gonna on. get a notification in the top. It's a quick way to get your photos in here. Open. And I have a folder, I'm gonna just drag it over. And obviously that, my friends, is a big sketch. Big. But oftentimes you're all, you know, in the creative process, you have things that you need to get into your design files. And using your iPhone is a really quick way to do that. So now we have our reference. I'm going to move this down out of the way. So now we have these frames. So I'm going to kind of just draw these frames. Okay, cool. So we definitely didn't do that in 10 minutes. Yikes. So I think we can spend our last 10 minutes, and then we'll do our 10 minutes in retrospective, okay? All right, Gene. Is this, is this interesting so far? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, so we have like a little background here where, um, and I will just make this because these are gonna be a kind of like our um, our dividers. Mm -hmm. So ten, oops, ten, ten billion, ten, and then I'm gonna make this twenty so you can kind of tell it's different. Twenty, and then we have this sidebar, so we're gonna draw this like try to make this little frame right here. Almost epic. Almost. Almost. Okay, oh. now it's epic. And then we're gonna add a um a vector point right here. So I just double clicked on it, and then I'm gonna hit P. P. I'm gonna add it right there, and then it's gonna come out a little bit. And then I'm gonna move this Ooh. one, P -P. maybe back a little bit. Oh, 
and we'll we'll figure we can we can make it you know we can make it any way we want to a little bit later and then i also had this little like cut part and i might even go as far as polishing this up in illustrator later because i like the way that illustrator handles its vector shapes so what a vector shape is is just a, a point in this made of math and you're telling it with this pen tool to make these these points and then once you have these points then you can come in and i just basically was holding shift and x that rotates this from a stroke to a fill and it's kind of a fun little way of being able to toggle back and forth between things That's cool I think so too. So mm. and now what I'm doing is if you look over to the layer panel, I'm having a dance. I'm dancing this rectangle 627 and I'm moving it down and I'm holding option command arrow down. That's what takes things to the very back layer. So I'm just doing that so my buttons can show up. Okay. Your buttons. Cool. So now we're, we have this this little texture, but I want this to even be 30. So it's gonna be a little brighter. So I'm making all these little shapes, making this, making that, up here's where that's gonna show. And then I'm gonna have this middle section. So this middle section, and I'm gonna just use this color because I like it. And Me I'm gonna too. come down and then I'm gonna bring it across. This is going to be, and I'm gonna make it zero. And I'll clean up this cut in a second. Well, I could just do this and then bring it over. Cut. 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 So I could align it so it's like kind of perfect align there. I'll do that later. And then Jude, so we have these circles, this circle, and this circle. Do you know what these are? Um yeah, I do. It's like the battle pass, right? Or the roller pass. Yeah, it's kind of like these milestones. Milestones. You got one hundred roller rings you and, rock and these milestones let's see oh you can't see the inspector panel huh let's see why oh, that's, oh what about now is that better thanks for calling that out i'm not really sure why that did that thank you but i hope that helps now that you can see that inspector panel roller pass that's like, dude, like every single time like I play like a game like this, like a phone game, and there's like a new thing on like the roller pass, I always click on it because it's so captivating. Just that red wants me to the new? tap on it. I, I'm so in agreement with you. <laughs> All right. So these what these are going to be our, our hero spots. Hero spots. Here we are in a... And I'm going to add a little drop shadow. So if you ever want something that kind of feel like it's floating on top of it, you can come over here to the effects and you can click that. And then when you have the effect, you can come in and I'm going to increase it probably like 15. There we go. That's cool. Oh, yeah, it's much better. You guys, so sorry about that. Oh, I can't see. So there this, if, if you want a quick little overview of this, we have the design, we have the prototype. And then we have the code. The design has all the properties as far as aligning things. So let's just say this was way out of line. If we wanted to align these top, which I always like to align things because when something is aligned, it feels better, it reads better, and it's smoother from a visual perspective, okay? So I'm gonna align this top. Do you see that? Oh, I see. So these buttons help you align middle, align bottom, and then you can also align the the distribution between set stuff. So if it's like vertical line or horizontal or horizontal vertical. One of those two. All right. So we have these two cards. We also need a section at the top where you have the and I would want the same distance between 316 and that's 355. So it basically come over a little bit more. And then you could just select this, select this two elements, and then hit align center, and then it's perfectly centered aligned. Okay, and then we have a uh, quest. That font's definitely gonna need to change. Oh God, that's kind of what it is. It's a little soft. It's, cool, it's but it's a not little. What we're wanting. That's that's no no no. Uh, no, 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 I don't know. Just... We'll have to figure out our typography for this. And then there's um, rewards. 
Rewards, quest, rewards, money. And we are actually looking at the rewards page. So we'll need a current state for that. And then we'll have uh, from there another little area below. This little area below has a couple things. So there's gonna be like a little icon there. So let's find a little icon that we can use. And this is going to symbolize our kind of like our roller, our coins, dude. So if there's like coins, let me see. Coins, do use the money. Perfect, that actually will work f perfectly fine for oh, right wow, now. Oh wow, that does look good. Make, make it like orange. Yeah. Okay. Make it like yellow. So a quick way to do oh, that looks so good. So let's make it forty. Dude, that looks cool. <gasps> that looks so cool. That is that is very cool. So we have these two little wow. symbols, and I'm gonna align top center, and then I'm gonna group it. Command G. So if you group, Hello. this is our money. Money, money. And we'll come money. in and. So then we have our our bar, our progress bar. Progress. Doo, doo, doo. And the progress bar is going to be uh, two shades, which we'll uh, work on the shading in a little bit later. Don't want to have you sit here for that. And then we'll have the zero of the total number of... Your money? Of, um, well, basically this helps you get to that next level because our, we're, this is like how you keep track of what level you're on. So if you're on level seven, you would be seeing your level and it, so you get, you need a 400 points to get to level seven. You gotta do the challenges to get that. You that's get, exactly you right. Challenges and you get XP. So that's a great point, Jude. So when it comes to those, and it looks like just for my spatial awareness, I'm also, I'm going to probably need to make these a lot smaller. I'm going to mean it, have to make that smaller. And then these are going to be the uh, boxes that need to get open. So let me just come over here and I need to get this out of the way. Get it out of the way. I'm going to undo it. It just automatically aligns. So let me just. Just sing on it out of the way. I'm going to group these. Group these. Lock them. Lock, lock that. Lock. Dude. Okay, cool. Now I can get it out of the way. Oh, no, it actually locked my whole <laughs> thing. It locked my frame. That's really tough. Unselect. You struggle? Me? Yeah. It looks like it. There's a lot of things in here to, to deselect. Deselecting, deselecting, deselecting. We'll see you after the short break. Huh. There we go. Group. Now it's over here. All right. And this Way. might need to get a little smaller. So let's just say like it's, I'll, and I'll have to update the typography. So each one of these is going to be a little chest. And since I had my chest right here, I'm just going to, well, I could do that or I could come in here and no joke, I could just draw oh, this. We have a comment. What is the difference between this progress bar and the progress? Yeah, I, I agree. Um, Dad, can we um, can we go back to the progress bar? Which one? Okay, so we're trying to know what's the pro. What is the difference between that that progress bar and that? Ah, uh, so the, top and the, the roller, the roller pass is a quick way. Sorry. Talk. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Stop. Uh, this is bothering me the typography all right so good question so these two things are very close they could they're they're basically ways of getting the same thing um we could end up just having one to simplify this um but we do want people to end up buying the roller pass so they can get to the next uh checkpoint faster because this is basically when they buy the roller pass they're going to get more points so i think that's true we don't need two um we might not need two of these uh different settings but we can still figure that out like i don't i'm just trying to like i know that up here we're gonna want some way to be able to toggle back and see like overall where you're at so they are pretty similar so even if we remove that there we can um it's actually actually i'm so sorry this is actually be, what happened was i was using this other screen uh where is it at 
right here, this was like a home screen. This wasn't inside the, the, the rewards or the uh, things. So when you click into this, when you click into the roller pass, then you see this screen. And then, so this wouldn't show up down here at all. <laughs> and then, so like, yeah, I just got cut up because I was trying to draw this thing. So, so we have that. No problem. See in my sketch, there's no thing down there. Silly Drew. Silly Drew. Silly Rabbit. Tricks are for kids. All right. So what we're thinking is like some rollerblades in the sketches there. So I'm just going to put those in. But for the first rollerblade, you got the grass rollerblades. Yes. For the second, and then the I want the Rasengan. No, no. <laughs> oh, God, God. You get the you fire roller blades, and the fire ones are used by using your chakra to uh, um, uh, to focus the fire energy to be. <laughs> That's awesome. Epic. Epic. All right, cool. So I just kind of uh, tweaked those a little bit. We'll have some other fun things in there. That kind of looks old. <laughs> what? That looks very. There, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, lay it on me, man. No, oh god, I feel like I'm being like hypnotized. <laughs> yeah, all right, these will end up being we'll we'll uh, we'll do some like proper sketching and stuff. I just drew these in like two seconds, so we'll make it better. Yeah, wait, oh god, I don't know. It's on. Oh, Jude's gonna go in and tell me that he he hates it. <laughs> all right, so we have big, small rollerblades, cool, it could whatever, be better. it's great. And then each one of these, let me see, there would be um, like a number uh, thing. So if you come really close, you see I have these like one to six, and then there's an upsell to advance. Then there's from seven to 20, there's another upsell to advance. From 21 to 50, then there's another upsell, like a reward. So each time you keep going, then you reflect the pattern. You keep going, and that's basically what is gonna happen inside of this reward system. And then when we click quest, Quests are going to show us something a little bit different. So let me pull in the sketches. Sketches. So again, if you need to get a sketch from your, if you need to get a sketch from your, from your physical space to your computer, you just need a hefty iPhone. Hefty Open up iPhone. your camera app, go in and take the photo that you want. Take the photo. And hopefully if you're on a Mac, if you're not on a Mac, then you're going to have a little bit more challenges getting it over into your uh, PC. That I can't really help you with. But if you... Craft your own... Yeah, maybe. I mean, I was... I, I think we should... Uh, I kind of like just going with the... the Like, uh, you get more roller cones, you get one up. More roller cones, you get one up. Thank you for, ch for uh, saying that, though. Thank you for saying that. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to bring this in. Streamline? What happened? Saying that again. Oh, we're lagging a little bit, probably because we had a little massive image come in. Is it, on? Is it still on? No. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right, cool. So this. They can't see our s screen. <laughs> Thank you. All right, cool. We're back. And from here, when you actually click over into the quest, then you get to see all the different quests that you can do. And one example of a quest is to... Uh, visit every building in Roller World. <laughs> <laughs> visit every building in Roller World. So if you, build, if you visit every building in the world, and there's 12, say, buildings, and we track each one that you go to, then you get 100 Roller Coins. <gasps> Another example is if you race a friend. So let's say we got uh, Kieran, Jude, all the, the crew in there. You get a point if you race a friend six times, you get 200. 200, that's crazy. If you win your first race, you get one, you get 50 coins. If you buy something from the store, you get 100 coins. And if you win 10 races, you get 200. So we're going to keep building those. And I think Jude said, how many are we going to How many are we gonna build? to 200 200 we'll, to 400 yeah we'll do like okay maybe like seven daily and then they'll just keep cycling day like uh every week so it's like 200 went by this week 
What are we doing? Yeah. That's awesome. So we did have another one. Like, so if you buy, yeah, you buy stuff from the store, and if you come back and look at the drawing. So if you're coming into the world and you start, oh yeah, I'm having so much fun. I need some help, or and then I'm coming in, and then I go to the store and I can buy all that stuff. I can also go to this middle section. So if we wanted to, what this middle section is, is that other drawing. Uh, bum, 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 I know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And we are here. Back. So this part is this part right here is this. This is what this is. Okay. It could be outside. Yep. It could be going. And then you have yep. your training room, yep. which has uh. Your training room has all this other fun stuff in it. So, does that make sense? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. And I did take some screenshots, some futuristic things that's that could cool. potentially be rollerblades. Oh shoot, that's pixelated, like. Crazy. Right. Yeah, it's just a <laughs> screenshot that I took. It's not like we're not going to use it for anything besides that's inspiration. Special. So we have that. We have that. We have. Um, so if we come back over all the way to the beginning of the things that we needed to do, very beginning. We. We decided where we want to focus. We did that. We we talked about the interface. We're continuing doing that. And we started watching videos on YouTube and we found a mentor, but we're also probably going to just bring them in and have them start building basic parts of the world. But first, we want to have more of our, our strategy and gaming system before they actually start to build. Yep. Uh, but we are making really good progress. But so, all right, so we're just about at time. Let's just switch back over into camera. And if you have any camera. questions for us, yeah. now, is a, now is a really good time to ask the questions. And uh, if you don't have questions, that's totally fine. Jude and I are gonna jump into our reflection. So Jude, what's something that went really well today? I mean, um, okay. And talk extra uh, yes. loud so they can hear, not yell, but talk okay. <laughs> loud enough for the mic to pick you up. So. I think that went really good today. Um, uh, we got a loading screen. I mean, we got we got a home screen. So we, All right. we got a home screen. All right. <laughs> right, it does. It yeah, does. I know that's what we were going for. We were going for we we like we like all the animations and things like in Brawl Stars, but we're gonna end up uh finding our own our own way of like making it and building it so this is just like a a, a concept to start yeah so yeah i think we, we got this we got two little screens and i think that was that went very well okay yeah and what's something that you think could have gone better um uh gone better yeah what could have gone better um <laughs> I don't What's know. something you could have done better? Uh, what I could have done better. Um. Um. I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> For, All right. Uh, All good. All good. <laughs> so something I think that went really well this week is we found an engineer to work with. We found we we learned a lot more about the game. We learned a lot more about what where we want to go with our uh, roller coins and our how our world could feel. I think. Uh, something that could go better for the next the next time is just to um, like really really continue working on the logic and the system I think it's just something that takes a little bit more time than like a few uh, sessions and w you'll see more of that progress over the coming weeks yeah um, and then we'll continue like pushing on the a visual and trying to find what type of uh, branding and visual design we want to bring to the game that's something um, that also will probably take a lot of shapes and forms over the coming weeks because we want to have a world. We want to know what the world is going to feel and look like. And we need, we need to test out a lot of different things. And then we'll finally uh, come in and decide what type of aesthetic we want. And when I say aesthetic, I'm talking about like the actual like breakdown of, of these. Cause we're going to have like things that trophies and boxes and things that you can un open you know the the and this is a pretty standard pattern and system for for games you know that a lot of games have this similar structure so we're not trying to reinvent the wheel for these 
passes that work really well. We're just want to bring in our own design aesthetic for that. Uh, does it look like, uh, so, I mean, we could do like a thing where there's like a premium and there's like just regular. So it'd be like, yeah. So there could be a premium and a regular. Right now we're building a regular. There could be a premium, and I think that's how we can make the. Here comes the money, 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 so you, money, money. <laughs> so you think? Uh, so the question was, should uh, the roller pass cost robot the yeah. pass? I think it probably should, really? because because like do, do other games? Co- yeah. Well, how about this? If anything in this game are, is going to cost robux, robux then we need to make sure that there's high impact, high value from what we give people. Because we don't want people to play this game and not feel satisfied or rewarded when they spend their their Robux. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll make sure if you buy something with Robux, it's going to be quality, and you're going to enjoy it. Quality, quality. It's going to be fun. All right, cool, man. Well, that's it. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode episode five, five, week five. Week five. Of design with, us. design with us. Had a ton of fun. Had a ton of fun. Learned a lot. Did you learned learn a lot? lot? I learned a lot. What's the one thing you learned? What's the one thing you learned? I learned that uh, I I I learned that uh, vi- making making uh, video games is no walk in the park. You gotta like really put in the time, effort, and the system thinking to make it happen. And I think you know we have the mind for that, Jude. And I think we're gonna make it happen. I learned. Um, what about Figma? Did you learn any of the properties and the yes, copy? Yes, I learned those little design code prototype. Oh yeah, you like, like that. You, the uh, prototype was kind of cool, right? It, when yeah. you get to view the prototype. Yeah, well, there, I think we should do the premium idea. Yeah, I think we should do the premium idea too. Yeah, guys, the premium. The premium. 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 All right, cool. Mm-hmm. Well. Yep. That was fun. We hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it. We had a ton of fun. We had a ton of fun. We appreciate you, we appreciate so, you much so much for joining, for joining and for hanging out, for hanging out. in this video, in this, in this video. live stream. In we'll see you next week we'll you at next 4 p.m. 4 p.m. I hear an echo. You're like many, many Jude Echo, Drew. Many Jude Echo, Drew. All right, cool. We'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing rest of your uh, week. Have a great week. We'll see you. And uh, share this video with your friends. and. Keep giving us the support. We love you all. We'll see you later. All right. Share with your grandma, your dog.